Hello students. Continuing the previous lecture in which we have inserted few components. As you know, we can insert the component from the icon menu. These are actually all the components related to electrical circuits. But if you move to your properties you, in your semantic library, you will see that there are three other libraries that are pneumatic libraries, hydraulic libraries and PID libraries. Insert component drop down, you will find these three library symbols, the pneumatic component, hydraulic component, PNID components, piping and instrumentation component. Pneumatic symbols. You may have seen these type of symbols in your drawings. These are hydraulic components related to hydraulic. We can use them in electrical drawings also. We can pick these type of symbols from these libraries, piping and instrumentation symbols. Actually, we have uh, three forms of symbols, standalone symbols, parent symbols and child symbols. Move to insert component menu. To insert a symbol, first check the scale of the symbols. If component is too small, then you have to adjust the scale of the components in your drawing. Either we can use horizontal component or in vertical direction. So I want to pick that one and insert it accurately on the wire so that it touch the wire. You can see question mark main. We have to move to the setting and go to reference number. Change its format referencing to XY grid and again insert the component. Its format is changed to A minus 2. Now we can add the description just like in the previous lecture we have discussed about. We can go to lookup table and pick any of the component from here. Just uh, we can insert these values also. We can also assign different uh, pin numbers. You can see the pin numbers, description, everything is mentioned on it. To copy that component, move here, select the component and insert it in that way. I don't want to discuss all about these details, the item number, count, assembly, these are all important for bill of materials. Similarly, I can copy this component for multiple times and uh, you can see that its tag number is also changed automatically. It is changing as I am inserting or copying symbols. Move to the three phase component, the breakers, fuses, so let's suppose I want to pick that one insert the component i have to move downward because i have inserted the first part of the component on the first wire so i have to move the component downward tcb is actually the family code string and b minus 2 is xy grid value so click ok you can see that it is not properly inserted in my wires so we have to take care how to place the component accurately on the wire Click OK. You can see the component is now accurately inserted in on our wires. Sometime you have to check if your symbols are not accurately placed on your wire, then you have to check the spacing between your components. If I want to change it to let's suppose 0.75 and insert the same component, the spacing between these components, you can see that it cannot adjust itself on three wires. Only the first component is inserted to check the distance between the spacing between the components. Now inserting the same component, we can also insert the components from here or either entering the AE component command. If you zoom our window, you can see that the spacing between these components is a little bit more than the wires. But when we insert the symbols and there is a little difference between their spacing, then it can adjust itself accurately on the wire. If I again I want to increase the spacing, let's suppose I want to increase the spacing more than 5.75 and make it 7.75 and insert the same component going downward. You can see the spacing now it's uh, more than the wire but if I place it, I want to copy that circuit, select component, copy it here, okay. Then it is not accurately placed. 
So again copying the component. Okay. You can see I have copied the component but only one part of the component move here. So if ever you want to copy the component and insert it on wire then you have to also copy the other two sections and insert it here. Going downward. Okay. You can see the spacing between these components was more than the wires but it adjusts itself when I inserted it on wires. But if the spacing between the components is less than the spacing between the wires then it cannot adjust itself. Vertical direction. If I want to place it vertically then I have to move towards the right direction because my other wires are towards the right. So it can adjust itself in that way. For vertical direction you have to adjust that spacing, multi-wire spacing. Inserting motors. If I want to insert a three-phase motor move here and click that one check the middle point of the square and place it towards the wire click ok see the tag name is changed to mtr that's uh, its family name to place the same motor towards in this direction place it anywhere ok then you can see it cannot adjust itself on the wire it cannot be placed on the wire so towards that direction and see whether i can place it here or not it is not working here also. Now drawing few wires, vertical wires. Now moving towards the same component, I want to insert the same component in that direction. Click OK. It's not accurately placed. So I have to enter again. The placement is actually important, you have to take care about it. It is placed here accurately. You can see that I have inserted the same wire in this direction, it is placed accurately. I have placed it in this direction, it placed accurately on the wires, but in that direction or in left direction, it cannot be placed in my circuit. So actually it is a standard if you have seen in your drawings. We move towards the uh, towards right, I mean our circuit move towards the right. From, from the power supplies, moving towards the load section or either we can move from top to bottom. So we can either connect our load or motors towards the right of the circuit or either we can insert it towards the bottom of the circuit. We cannot insert it on upward direction or towards the left direction. If you still need to place your motors at this direction or at above direction, you have to rotate the circuit or the part of the circuit. So these are important things which should be noted down. And in the catalog browser, you can see this is our category. We have already discussed about it. User defined list. These are users. These are already defined circuits in my library. You can pick that from here and uh, you can even add different circuits here. So I don't want to go in detail about these circuits. You can work on these. These are just built in circuits. You can even add it, its attributes. And equipment list. If you move to here, you can see that there are different forms of spreadsheet that are already available in my list. So if you have any equipments list in your spreadsheet form, then you can pick from there. Just uh, wire, recalculate wire size, it is important to note down, like I want to sometime to adjust the wire size according to the load connected. So if you have different loads and uh, you have connected different form of wires, then it will create problems in your circuit. It will not be an accurate drawing to that your load and wires are varying. So you have to select a motor or electrical load you have to enter that one. You can see that it's all the attributes are already come here. Load, unit, space, speed, RPM, full load, ampere, everything is mentioned here. So I don't want to go in detail, uh, volt, frequency, everything is mentioned. You can work on that. And in this list, you can see that it has different types of wires to wire gauge. These are the different wire gauges or uh, wire gauge. These are the sizes of the wires. Ampacity is mentioned and percent ampacity is also mentioned. So it is more than 100%. You can see that it's uh, these are all red because I cannot connect these wires to this load. So I have to either connect any of these. Let's suppose I want to pick that one. Just enter and you will see that uh, it's uh, it will be changed like 500 kcmil. So its layer is changed. These wire layers are changed now. Similarly 500 kcmil. All three wires are automatically changed. If you click on this wire, this is also changed. If you click on this wire 500 kcml, you can check that its layer is wire. So in this way, we can adjust the size of the wires. It is a very important feature in AutoCAD Electrical. This is multiple insert icon menu. Either I can insert the same component for multiple times. Let's move to another drawing. I want to insert a component for multiple time. I want to insert a component. 
pick a component from the icon menu. I want to insert that component in, but uh, first I have to adjust scale. I can see that. Yes, I have to enter the fence. Move to insert menu. Click the push button. Now I have to insert the component fence. Draw a fence in any direction, all the components will be inserted. Click enter. Keep this one. Yeah, I want to keep that one. Keep all, don't ask. If I enter that one, then it will not ask again and again to keep the component. If I show edit dialog after each, after each placement of the component, it will show the edit dialog box. So I don't want to, again, let's suppose I want to enter OK and see how it will look like. You can see that it inserted a one component which is PB and it is uh, inserted the second component PB. Uh, that is actually its properties, uh, PB, PB A minus one. If I enter OK, you can see that its tag name is changed to PB A minus one. Now this tag is uh, one A minus one A. Every time it will ask, it will show me the dialog box. So it is actually time consuming. So we have to enter the, another option, which is don't show the edit dialog box. Into the fence, don't show the dialog box, keep all, don't ask. You can see all the components will be inserted accurately in its own position. So uh, another option, which is multiple insert pick master. I have to pick any of the component. Let's suppose that is my component to copy. Now enter the fence from that point to that point and keep all, don't ask show don't show add a dialog box after each you can see these components are placed so in this way i can place multiple components in our ladders or in our circuits moving toward the insert saved circuit yeah we have if you we have already a saved circuit then we can insert that circuit you can see that there are four circuits that are already saved in our component list if you have another you have prepared or make another circuit and you want to save that circuit in your library then you can even save that so we have only four defined components you can insert the scale of the components move all lines to wire layers these are all related to the circuits so you can you can even change the settings of these circuits these are already predefined circuits so we are not going to work in detail you it's uh, easy to be remembered and in the next lesson we will work on editing component properties